As we work our way down, we're now on to sites and apps when we select the Bark Phone tile on the dashboard. Here, you can manage access to apps currently installed on the Bark Phone. And if you block an app in this section, it suspends the app entirely on the Bark Phone. The app will look grayed out and be inaccessible. If you block an entire category of apps in this section, it will block apps under that category by default. You can also verify your rules for web filtering, meaning the internet access of those apps, by clicking on filters on the top left. Now there's a couple of ways of getting here and this is one of them. The, the other way is the screen time tile. But once here, you're seeing the web filtering rules, which means that if something is blocked in this section, the site or app will not load, not refresh, nor send or receive new messages. Pro tip is to use the search bar at the top to quickly find an app to allow or block. This is the easiest way to verify whether the app is blocked, the internet access to that app or site is blocked, or both. Now, why would I ever block internet access but not the full app itself? Well, in a situation where, say, you're okay with your child playing Minecraft offline, but just don't want them playing Minecraft online with strangers, you can block the Minecraft internet access here, but leave the Minecraft app itself allowed. Another scenario I wanted to cover was when we get frequently asked, is someone wants to say, block all social media apps, but allow a particular app that might be under that umbrella, like let's say Instagram. You can absolutely do that with Bark. So, you can select social media is blocked and that covers tens of thousands of different apps and sites, but you could still have the Instagram toggle to allowed as, as you see in this example. And as a reminder, if you've set up additional routines, these rules may change according to the routine you've scheduled for the day or week. And that's the sites and apps section of the Bark phone tile. Next up, we're gonna talk about the pause feature.